Welcome to World Alert Updates. Subscribe and press the bell icon for more updates. The world was stunned. Saudi Arabia, a land of endless sand, announced plans to build a sea in its desert. Headlines blazed with disbelief and fascination. Was this science fiction or the next leap in human ambition? The project aimed to transform barren landscapes into sprawling lakes and waterways, a vision that challenged the very nature of the Arabian Peninsula. For centuries, the desert shaped life here. Now, Saudi Arabia was proposing to reshape the desert itself. Artist rendering showed sailboats on turquoise waters, lush green shores, images that captivated the globe. Experts weighed in. Some hailed it as a solution to water scarcity. Others warned of ecological disaster and hubris. The debate was fierce. Was this a beacon of hope or a monumental gamble? The announcement forced the world to confront the limits of human achievement and our relationship with nature. In an era of climate change, Saudi Arabia's plan felt both futuristic and unsettling. Would we engineer our way out of crisis or learn to live within nature's boundaries? One thing was certain, succeed or fail, this project would define an era. The world watched, asking, can they actually do it? The stakes had never been higher. To grasp the scale of this plan, you need to understand Saudi Arabia's geography. The kingdom covers most of the Arabian Peninsula, dominated by some of the world's harshest deserts. The Rub al Khali, or Empty Quarter, is the largest sand desert on Earth towering dunes, searing heat, and almost no rain. Saudi Arabia is among the driest nations, with no permanent rivers or lakes. For centuries, survival depended on rare oases and hidden wells, lifelines in a sea of sand. The climate is punishing relentless sun, high evaporation, and little chance for agriculture. Water scarcity shaped every aspect of life, forging a culture that values every drop. Even with oil wealth and modern technology, the fundamental reality remains. Energy is abundant, water is not. This stark contrast drives the kingdom's relentless quest for water security. The dream of building a sea in the sand is born from this deep historic scarcity. It's a bold attempt to rewrite the rules of survival in one of the world's most unforgiving environments. The stakes are nothing less than the future of the nation. Saudi Arabia's oil wealth built modern cities in prosperity, but masked a critical vulnerability water scarcity. The nation became a global leader in desalination, turning seawater into fresh water for its cities. Desalination plants are technological marvels, but they're energy hungry and expensive. The other main source, ancient underground aquifers, filled when the region was wetter thousands of years ago. For a time, these aquifers fueled ambitious agriculture, even wheat exports. But the water is finite and nearly gone. Desalination's energy demands create pollution and tie water security to fossil fuels. Aquifers are running dry, forcing cutbacks in farming. With a growing population and unsustainable water sources, Saudi Arabia faces a crisis. The need for a radical, long-term solution is urgent. The Inland Sea Project is a response to this existential challenge. It's a gamble on technology to secure the nation's future. The plan, create a vast artificial sea, lakes and canals deep in the desert. This isn't just a reservoir, it's a new ecosystem engineered from scratch. Next generation desalination plants, powered by solar energy, will produce massive amounts of fresh water. Water will travel hundreds of miles inland through pipelines, an engineering feat across harsh terrain. Once in the desert, the water will fill enormous man-made lakes, creating strategic reserves and a new microclimate. Canals and irrigation channels will branch out, supporting agriculture, new communities, and wildlife habitats. The entire system will be managed by AI and sensors to optimize use and minimize waste. The goal secure water for people, farms and industry, and reduce reliance on imports. It's a vision to transform the desert, boost food production, and create new economic opportunities.
The project aims to foster biodiversity and improve life in previously arid regions. It's a holistic attempt to turn sand into a sustainable future. But the scale is unprecedented, and so are the risks. The benefits could be transformative. The desert would bloom, green fields, orchards, and wetlands where there was only sand. Reliable water could make Saudi Arabia self-sufficient in food, shielding it from global shocks. New towns and cities could rise around the lakes, offering recreation, jobs, and a higher quality of life. Industries in agriculture, aquaculture, tourism, and water management would diversify the economy. If managed well, the project could cool the local climate, increase humidity, and even boost rainfall. Wetlands and green corridors could become vital habitats, increasing biodiversity. Solar-powered desalination would set a new standard for sustainable development. The inland sea could become a global tourist attraction, rebranding the kingdom as a destination for innovation and natural beauty. Water brings life, life brings opportunity, and opportunity brings prosperity, a new vision for the desert. But the challenges are immense. Desalination is energy intensive. Even with solar, the scale demands one of the world's largest renewable infrastructures. Any shortfall could force a return to fossil fuels, undermining sustainability. Brine disposal is a major problem. Dumping concentrated salt back into the sea threatens marine life and ecosystems. The artificial lakes themselves could become stagnant, plagued by algal blooms and oxygen loss. High evaporation means a constant need for new water, creating permanent dependency on the system. Disruptions, technical, natural, or security-related, could turn lakes into salty wastelands. Altering the desert risks, disrupting unique, fragile ecosystems, and introducing invasive species. The project could change soil, weather, and local habitats in unpredictable ways. The dream of a green oasis could become an ecological nightmare if not managed with extreme care. The price of paradise is not just financial, it's ecological. Every step must be taken with caution. The financial and logistical risks are staggering. The cost could reach hundreds of billions, straining even Saudi Arabia's resources. Building desalination plants, solar farms, pipelines, and lakes is a colossal undertaking. Delays and overruns are likely, with cascading effects on the economy. Maintaining pipelines across shifting sands and extreme heat is a constant challenge. The system will require endless maintenance and upgrades, an ongoing burden for future generations. The nation becomes permanently dependent on high-tech water production. Security is a concern. The infrastructure is a tempting target for sabotage or attack. Any disruption could cripple water and food supplies, creating new vulnerabilities. The project's success depends on stable finances, technology, and security, none of which are guaranteed. A single misstep could have devastating consequences. The stakes are as high as the ambition. The world is watching Saudi Arabia's Desert Sea Experiment. If it succeeds, it could become a blueprint for arid nations everywhere. It would prove that technology and willpower can overcome geography's harshest limits. Innovations in solar desalination, water transport, and desert agriculture could be exported globally. Success would inspire a new era of geoengineering and hope for regions facing water scarcity. But failure would be a costly warning of environmental damage, financial ruin, and the limits of human control. The project is a real-time experiment with lessons for scientists, engineers, and policymakers worldwide. Every phase will be studied water management, brine disposal, microclimate effects, and economic viability. It sparks a global conversation about the ethics and risks of reshaping nature. Whether a model to follow or a disaster to avoid, the outcome will shape our approach to environmental challenges. The world's future may hinge on what happens in the Saudi desert. The Desert Sea Project forces us to ask, what's the right balance between progress and nature? Is it heroic to use technology to create abundance or arrogant to try to conquer the desert? 
Should we reshape the planet to suit our needs or adapt to its limits? The project is a test of our values and wisdom. Can we create paradise without causing harm elsewhere? True security. Does it come from dominating nature or coexisting with it? As the first equipment rolls into the sand, these questions become real. The answer will define our relationship with the planet for generations to come.